Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. That's probably a few too many good mornings. <laughs> um, right, I have just done Winnet's Pass. Uh, the sun, uh, let's see if you can see that with the camera reset. The sun is just here at the minute. It was, uh, it poked its head out momentarily for about a, a slither of sunshine before uh, the clouds come along and hid it away, took it away from us. Um, so nothing there. So I did a few detailed shots of thingamajig when it's past. I'm cold. I've got plenty of layers on, but that wind just just takes it out of you. So I'm climbing back to my car, find a decent path to go on. Climbing back to the car. I've got coffee. I've got breakfast, and I think I need to talk to you about Brian. As I've just caught in the corner of my eye, that the sun has just peeked out. I'm not going to look back. Heroes don't look back at explosions. I'm not looking back at the sun that never was. <laughs> so, three-legged things, Brian. I need to talk to you about my new, my new tripod acquisition. And maybe I'll talk to you about the Samyang 12mm F2.0 as well. So, I'll go and find somewhere to park up Look at this, swine. Should always hang around. <laughs> Come find somewhere to park up and I'll have a chat with you. you ever have one of those days where you just cannot find a shop for love nor money? Today is one of them days. I have been to Winnet's Pass, uh, Lady Bower, and now I'm at Padley Gorge. And you know what, it's absolutely beautiful. But can I find a composition? No, uh -uh. not today. Nothing is kind of like when, yeah, that's a shot. Yeah, that one. No, not that one. Yeah, nothing, nothing. Everything I've tried has been, nope. Oh. So I'm starting to get a little frustrated now. I don't know if it's just, I'm just having an off day. I think I've got to put it down to just being an off day, but I don't know what else it could be. But, oh, it's annoying. <laughs> it's really annoying. You go to these beautiful places, and especially today, as you can see, the trees are golden. The sun is, is up over the hill, over the other side of Padley Gorge there. So the sun is coming through these leaves, these beautiful autumnal leaves. And it is absolutely gorgeous. As you can see behind me, look at those colours. Oh, popping. Can I find a shot, though? Oh. Not going to give up just yet but I'm that close to it. <laughs> so, all else fails. Uh, I've got the new tripod. The three-legged thing punks Brian. So, worst case scenario for a video, I can do a review of the tripod whilst I'm out and about. But, it ain't looking good today. I might just take in the autumnal sounds, the birds, the leaves rustling, and give up. We'll see. Okay, let me introduce you to my new friend. I introduce you to Ryan. Uh, this is the three-legged things carbon fibre tripod uh, called Brian. They do have interesting names for their tripod. I do think their next series at least should be have should have 
Graham. A good name for a tripod. Uh, right, so what is this? <laughs> what is it? It's a tripod. <laughs> um, it's a very lightweight travel tripod. Um, very well made. Uh, I don't think I ever found a really bad review about three-legged things. Um, it's a British company. Um, the products are made in Hong Kong or whatever, but that's just for whatever reasons they have. But as you can see, it is very, very small, very, very light, um, and I like it's a, it's a really well put together piece of kit. Now you also get, should add on this, a little carabiner clip. This thing here, which has your um, plate tightener if you haven't got a coin and there's a little allen key on there uh, as if you need to just nip them up a little bit and you can then also because it's got the hook is that you could put that through the bottom and hook a bag on or something like that if you don't have one so I took the plunge on this one I had some credit on Wex after trading something in Wex photographic video whatever their new name is um, I thought I'd treat myself to a tripod that's going to last. My last one, uh, one of the legs kept uh, popping off. Um, I'd glued it, but you lose lose faith in it. I'd hate to have gone somewhere and lost it completely. So, um, what's good about this one? So let me just open this one up here. So these have got little tiny twist locks. So it's like a quarter of a turn and you're done. So this is a five piece, is it five? One, two, three, four, five, five piece. Well done, Graham, for counting. Five piece leg. Because um, I was undecided as to which one to get. Uh, I liked the look of Ben Rose. Uh, I liked the thicker legs, but that meant more weight and more cost if I wanted the carbon fiber one of a sort of similar height. Height was the big thing for me. I wanted something that went higher. Uh, I know that um, Brendan Vanson uses three-legged things. He's got the next one up or whatever it is. That it's, it's bigger, it's chunkier, um, but it's a beast. I couldn't afford that, so I went for this one. But I thought, I'm going to treat myself to carbon fibre. Now, as you can see how tall that is, that is, <laughs> that's, that's almost tall. Well, you know, in fact, it is taller than me. Um, I can't remember the height. The height, of, the actual official height of this is here and <laughs> for those that need to know the weight here so we've got height weight height weight I'm gonna regret doing that because that means I've got to do all that in post so that's that's it it's very sturdy um, you can spread the legs further if you need to to there so it's got a good a good amount of travel on it I would say so I can go completely horizontal as you can see there and that will give me really good ground clearance as well put that back there it's quite sturdy up at its maximum height I would say um, there's a bit of flex in there as you can see uh, but I mean, if you put a weight on that that would make it a bit more solid but you know to, to be fair I can't ever imagine I would have a camera up this high and that in, in a breeze or something like that to worry about wobble if I was in well, these woods where I am now it's, it's relatively sheltered I think I'd be okay and especially as you put it on a, tr a timer make sure there's no shape you can shelter it with your body with your hands if there was a lot of wind and if there was too much wind then just bring it to there that between that and that doesn't make that much difference but I wanted that height just for that just in case moment and also uh, when I'm doing weddings uh, I can mount a flash on here if I haven't got anywhere else to mount a flash I can put it on there so now I have a nice high flash that's why I did that so as you can see it's all right I'm, I'm liking it I'm struggling a little bit with the um, oh one extra thing this uh, which one is it is it that one it is that one isn't it here we go this one also becomes bear with a monopod so you can unscrew this off 
or you can take the head off and you can put it on there. Now I'm not going to do a review of monopods because I don't use them. So I can't say, but I'll tell you what, that's very, very light. Very light. That surprised me. <laughs> that's the first time I've taken that off. Uh, so you could put a head on there or something else um, to suit your needs or just mount the lens straight to it. But uh, yeah, I, I can't really comment more on that because like I say, I'm not going to use that element. So, as I was saying, the bit I'm struggling with at the minute is there's five elements. My last tripod had three. Um, so you are spending a lot of time, to a point, just to set up and stuff. You, you couldn't use this tripod in a hurry, I don't think. Huh? Don't do it, do it. Now, if you're wondering why this looks a bit funny, this lens, uh, this shot, it's in a tree. It's also on the Seven Artisans 7.5mm, so everything is rip, <laughs> super wide. So that is the quickest review. It's not really a review. I'm just talking it over. So far, as a re in review terms, I like it. It's light. It's trustworthy so far and uh, that's about it really there you go folds down nice and light nice and small and you just turn every little bit into its right place like so there you go for how tall that gets that's pretty good I would say pretty darn good so Three-legged things, Brian. Sorry, three-legged things, punks range, Brian. Like it. That'll do. Right. Hello. <laughs> you took this long before falling out of the tree. <laughs> well, <laughs> hello there. <laughs> Did you want some more attention? I was about to wrap up. I, I did, were, you not, were you not done with me, eh? Okay. I will wrap up. I should not be dictated to by my camera. My suicidal camera. Quick check. We're still in one piece. We are still in one piece. So, sunlight in my face. Ah! Get in the shade. <laughs> uh... Oh, I was going to do a review of the Samyang too. My Samyang. I'm going to save the Samyang 12mm f2 for another video. Because if I get another day like this, I might need some content. <laughs>